Welcome guys, so today you will learn how to find outliers for a particular column in your data set. So if you have a particular numeric column so, and if you want to find the outliers in that numeric column. So there are basically three ways in which you can find it. The first one is through a visual representation. The second one is uh, IQR which stands for Intel Core Trial Range. And the third one is Z-Score. So I have already downloaded the data set and stored it in data. So these are the various ways which are generated. And if I want to find the outliers in the aluminum cans, so I will first find it visually. So I have already imported the matplotlib library and specified the column name which I want and uh, showed it. So we can see that we have obtained the, this kind of image and in this uh, the diamond stands for our outliers. So I can make that the outliers roughly lie around 21,000 value. And so this is one way of representing. Uh, the second way is through interquartile range. So f in interquartile range, first thing is we find the upper quartile and lower quartile which is the 75th percentile value and 25th percentile value so I will define Q3 and I will copy my the column which I want and specify the quantile function and here I will write 0.75 which is my 75th percentile value and if I want to look at the output I will just print it so this is my value for Q3 similarly I would repeat that step for Q1 which is our 25th percentile value and I will print it. So IQR is the difference between our 75th percentile value and 25th percentile value. So this IQR will be Q3 minus Q1. And I will print that. So there is a limit uh, in IQR so there is an upper limit uh, beyond which uh, means if there is an any value above upper limit then that will be likely an outlier and even in case there is a lower limit too so what is the formula for upper limit so upper limit is nothing but our Q3 plus 1.5 times our IQR. Similarly there is lower limit which is our Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR which is our interquartile range. And if you want to see that values So we can see that uh, the upper limit is 20798.75 and lower limit is 8920.75. So any value which is above the upper limit is likely an outlier. And similarly, any value below lower limit is also an outlier. So this was the second way in which you can detect an outlier. The third way is through a z-score method. So in z-score method, if we have a distribution uh, like this, and the middle value is our mean, and these stands for the standard deviations. So if this, if I want to find that how much far is a 65th percentile from our mean or 75th percentile from our mean so 
I will find this corresponding value and minus it from our mean and divide it by standard deviation. So the formula for z score is z score is your value means is your y means it can be it is all the column values which are there in this aluminium cans so i will take one value so it can be 2475 or any value and if the mean is like 2300 zero zero and you obtain a standard deviation of 23 so in that case the z score will be 6.65 so this what does this mean is that your value is 6.65 times away from the mean expressed in terms of standard deviation so if I want to find how much far is this so we can know that this is approximately 2.7 times far from your mean and it is expressed in terms of standard deviation so this is one standard deviation this is two times standard deviation, three standard deviations similarly it will be if the opposite for the other side it will be expressed in minus terms so this was the third method so there is a threshold in z-score so any value which is above 3 so that value is likely an outlier in this case so in this case the uh, 2453 uh, value is an outlier so this is all for today lastly I would say that story by data is an amazing platform to get expert advice and know about various other things happening in data science so do not forget to like subscribe to this channel and i would be looking forward for your uh, comments in the comments below so thank you very much have a great day